Hello, my name's Celeste and I just want to um, do my makeup <laughs> and show you how I do it. So I use mascara's um, beauty products. I have my big artist palette, but the great thing about these palettes, um, they come in all sizes and they are totally customizable because they're magnetic. So all of the um, foundation, lip and cheek colors, every uh, contour colors, it's all um, <clears throat> creams. And they are just the creme de la creme of makeup. So I always start out with the um, Stay Out There Gorgeous Setting Spray and I go ahead and spray my face. I already did that, um, but if you feel like the spray is a little bit harsh, you can always spray it on your perfecter directly and then pat it on your skin. Um, and that just gives the makeup a nice um, sticky base to grab hold of. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to utilize my um, 30 second hack brush and I'm going to dip that in my main highlight color. This color is called Amber. And I'm going to go ahead and just do my eyelids. This will just give me a nice even skin tone on my eyelid to go ahead and layer some eyeshadow. I like to do my eyes first because that way I don't have to, I can be as you know creative as I want and I don't have to worry about it dusting down into my foundation. So then I'm gonna take the eyeshadow everything brush. I love this brush, it's got two ends, one more fluffy side, um, it's great for blending and getting a good surface area and then a more um, fine side uh, I call it the smudgy side, um, and I'll show you what I like to do with that. So today I've got pink pants on, <laughs> so I'm going to go with this light pink mama color and just tap that in. So I always kind of press my eyeshadows on first and then blend, so kind of tap the color on and then start sweeping it across and swirling it. I find that that lays the pigment down really nicely and then you don't waste any. You have a little more control. Okay. Then I'm going to switch the brush over to the smudgy side and I'm going to go in this nice even brown called Oak and just come in my lash line a little bit. And this will give me just a little frame around my eye, sort of draw, draw your eye to my eyes without any harshness. Like a liner does, it's just soft and wears really pretty throughout the day. Okay. And none of it ever looks pretty until you do the rest. So, um, next, I'm gonna get back to my 30 second hack brush and go into my cream highlight foundation color. So this is gonna come in just right underneath my eye and we're making this large triangle, focusing on the under eye and that pretty bone there, that cheekbone. All we all want our cheekbones to get some highlight. <laughs> nice big triangle. Okay, and then I have a little redness around my nose. All the highlight colors have a little bit of a yellow undertone, so for redness it just tones that right down and gives you a lip from within look. Doubles as your concealer. And I'm gonna go from the center of my chin to across my jaw. So I just do kind of a series of stippling motions and sweeping motions to just get that blended in. These brushes are so soft, you'll wanna just Rub it all over your face forever. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going between my brows and fanned across my forehead. 
I've heard people describe these creams as cream Photoshop, and I think it's such a good description because it just evens out your skin tone, but it doesn't make you look like you have a bunch of makeup on your face because I think it's because they are creams and they sort of just meld into the natural texture of your skin and make your skin look um, like fresh and healthy, okay? So, once I'm done with my highlight, I'm gonna swap sides of the brush over to the contour side. And this is just um, kind of elongated this way and rounded on the edges and it makes contouring so easy. So I'm just gonna tap the brush in the contour a few times and then I'm gonna come back here by my ear just under my jawline and tap in this color. And I'm just giving my cheekbone a hug here. So it's not down here low, you know, in the hollow of your cheek, it's up high because we want that lift. And you can adjust the angle of this depending on what your goal is. So if you're really long and narrow, you'll want to go more horizontal with this and kind of curve it up. And if you are really full and you want to be have a slimming effect, you'll go more diagonal. Okay. And then I always just kind of fatten it up towards the back. And if you always begin um, proximal or proximally further away from the center of your face, then you'll get a nice natural gradient and you won't have to blend as much because most of the makeup will be deposited where you weaken. And it's okay for the shadows to be deeper um, on the, the, uh, the edges of your face. See how that just chisels out my cheekbones and gives me some dimension? Okay, and then I'm gonna come in my hairline and I like to put it in my hair and sweep forward. Again, that just kind of helps with the gradient thing that we just talked about where it'll blend it for you. What this does is it frames your face and draws the eye towards the center of the face. So when people look at you, they focus on your inner light, <laughs> which comes through your eyes. So there's that. And then I'm gonna do my jawline. So I'll go straight down and underneath. You wanna come up here and give yourself a beard underneath where the natural shadow falls and then blend it down the neck. Don't be afraid of contour. One of the beautiful things about using cream based products is that there's no mistakes that are hard to come back from. It's so easy, um, say I got a little carried away with the contour right here, I got it clear over here. I can just swap sides of my brush and add back in a little highlight. So it's just, so nice, you don't have to worry um, about too much. You just have all the control. Um, one thing, when you're doing your contour, you can use these smile lines as a, a guide for you. That's the red light, no more contour when you hit those smile lines. So it needs to fade out by the time you get to those lines and you'll be good to go. Okay, so three basic places to go with the contour underneath the cheekbone, around the hairline, and you can adjust that based on your shape of your face too. Like if you're more long and narrow, you won't want to emphasize that by coming in too far on the sides. You'll just wanna come in on top. And then if you're more um, round, you'll want to go in not as far on top, but maybe a little further on the sides. Okay, now, um, if you wanna get crazy, you can go ahead and um, contour the sides of your nose and I don't get real detailed with that normally but I'll just put a little bit down both sides making sure that my nostrils stay highlighted so it's basically just little teeny stripe down the sides and it it won't show <laughs> don't worry okay 
Then I'm gonna take a different brush now to do my blush. This is the bronzer and blush brush. And it's perfectly, this smaller side is perfectly um, shaped to get your apple of your cheeks to popped up just a little bit with some color. And then this side, I'll show you how to do bronzer as well. So blush, I'm gonna use Dahlia. It's been my favorite color this summer. I was so afraid of it for so long because it's really a really bright color, but when it's on, it's just such a pretty tone. So I just come right in the apple of my cheek and blend it up towards my temple a little bit. Okay, and then this is something fun I like to do sometimes. I'll come back with, um, I'm gonna do it with a detail hack. This is the like the 30 second hack brush, but it's just got a little bit more angular pieces to it and a smaller tip here. And it's called a detail hack. I'm gonna come in with a little bit lighter highlight color and just gently stipple that in my cheekbone there. And what this does is it just gives another pop of dimension and can kind of just give you that extra glow one step further, an unnecessary step, but I just think it's pretty. <laughs> so I'll put it in all the same starting places just with a little less surface area covered. So underneath my eyes, on the tip of my chin, between my brows, and down the rim of my nose. And if you wanna make your nose look really slender, you'll go very fine with that line. Okay. All right. I think it's time to blend. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my um, Stay Out There Gorgeous Setting Spray and spritz my Perfector with it, or I can get this really lightly damp under water. So you'll want it to be very lightly damp because if it's too wet, it will take off the makeup. And then we're just gonna go ahead and tap that in. Never um, wipe it, just Kind of press it into your skin and let it do its job. It's super soft and perfectly shaped to really blend things nicely. Okay, all right. Now I want to show you a couple fun finishing touches. So Bella Bronzer is a cream bronzer that we have and I love it. It's a perfect color to give you a little bit of a sun-kissed look. So I take this bronzer and blush brush, the fat end in the bronzer, just tap it in a few times, and then I'm gonna come and think of the sun angling down at me. I'm just gonna come on the high points of my face to sort of give me a sun-kissed look. So across that top part of my forehead, a little bit here on the tops of my cheekbones, I just think of kind of where you get a sunburn in the spring when it's your first time out in the sun. Go on a little walk and the sun's done its business. That's where you go and then you can just go a teeny bit on the nose. So that may be hard to see in this video, but it really does add a lot. And I'll take it to my chest too sometimes just swirl it all over my chest and I don't know I love it it's good stuff it's a really pretty color and just makes me feel a little tanner and nice so and then I'm gonna take either my finger you can do this with your finger or I'll I'll show you this is our um, multitasker brush I love this for covering blemishes or um, just doing random odd jobs I'm gonna come in with my illuminator. This is rose gold. And this just catches the light. Makes you look dewy and fresh. And it, a lot of makeup lines will refer to this step as your highlight. So this is illuminator <laughs> for us. And it's just translucent and has a little bit of a shimmer effect. Just really pretty touch. Okay, um, 
And now I'm going to line my lips actually with the eyeshadow everything brush. This um, more smudgy end gives you such a nice soft line. You don't have to get really perfect on, but it'll give you the, the effect of um, making your lips pop more. So I'm going to take um, a little indigo contour, one of our deep, rich contour colors, and just come in. Just barely on that outside edge of my lip and see how my bottom lip looks bigger. <laughs> and then I'm gonna come in on top. And then I can take the same color I used for my cheeks and put it on my lips, or I can choose another color. All our cheek blushes are cream, so they go pretty on your lips and your cheeks. This is actually a color called Desert Sunset, and it's my favorite for lips. And a little illuminator in the center there. So, Next, we need to handle these eyebrows. <laughs> I've got them um, microbladed, but they always need a little extra something. So I love this brush. It's called the uh, Know Your Angles brush, and it's got a nice angular tip that gives you a really a lot of control when you're using powders to fill in your brows. And I'm gonna use one of our eyeshadow colors called Trust, and just come in on the underside of my brow. the tail there and then I sort of just fan it upward and that gives a really soft finished look to my brow. Okay, other side. And then you can swap it over and comb them up, comb your lashes, got false lashes and the one big downfall is you gotta keep them in line. Okay, let's see how are those brows looking. Pretty good. All right, but I didn't blend very good here. There you go. Okay. And that, my friends, is that. I'm just gonna finish off by spraying with the setting spray. Again, if you don't like the spray, you can put it on your perfecter. So, here we go. I make sure it gets all over. And the other benefit of that stuff is, well, it'll make your makeup last through the day. And then also, it's got 30 SPF in it, which is so great because protect your skin skin from the sun. Even when I'm not wearing makeup, if I'm going to the lake or something, I started using this instead of the um, greasy, oily um, sunscreens. Um, I can just mist myself with a little of that and I'm all, all safe and sound from the sun. So um, that is that. That is my little makeup routine. Um, I, all the products I used are mascara beauty products, like I said, and I have a link in my profile if you'd like to check them out, my profile on Instagram, um, or you can go to Celeste Canvas, C-E-L-E-S-T-E-S, -E -E Canvas, C-A-N-V-A-S.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.